Hey everyone, welcome back to Beekeeper with Natalie, or welcome to If You Are New. Today's video is a little special to me because we are hitting 100 videos, which might not sound like a lot, but when you're a YouTuber and you're filming videos, it takes a really long time to get there. It's been a couple years now, I'm not sure how long, um, and we finally hit 100 videos, which is really exciting, and we also are just around to 5,000 subscribers, which I'll get to in a little bit, but I'm really thankful for everybody who has supported me, and YouTube's not easy. There's really hard days. Um, we have had a lot of fun, but sometimes it can be really difficult to go out and film a video. And so I want to th thank you to all of you guys who have helped me, and really anybody that just watches my video, it helps me out a ton. And so just that one person can help me a lot, um, whether you commented, liked the video, or again, just watched it. It really does help me out a lot and I appreciate you guys. There's a ton of people that have helped me and I know a ton of people that have been here since the beginning. I can name a lot of people and we also have a lot of new people that have started supporting me. There's a lot of awesome creators out there too that have helped me out. And also, I want to say thank you to my mom because she does film all of my videos and she's always behind the camera, whether you see her or not, she's always there. I think there might be like two videos where somebody else has filmed it, but she's always the one to film the video, which um, is not always fun to film with me, I know that, because <laughs> some days it's I'm not in the best mood to film videos, but she always makes me do it, which I do appreciate. And then my dad also helps out a lot in like other stuff, behind, behind the scene things that you don't get to see but is really important. Um, like video ideas, he helps me come up with those, titles for the video, just things like that that are really important. Small things that I might not notice he can point out and so I appreciate them for that. And again, everybody out there who has just watched some of my videos and so this is the 100th video. And we are doing a Corey Stevens series, and we want to take a break from that just so we could do a normal video real quick, because I know we've been doing a lot of interview videos. And so I thought we could kind of go through this hive a little bit today and check them out, um, but we will get back to Corey after this video pretty soon here. And so we'll kind of go through this, and I'll kind of talk a little bit about what's going on. We have a lot of new exciting things that are going to be coming up, and so we're doing a lot of new stuff this year, which is really exciting. This hive has some comb on it, which I might take all the supers down to get to it. That depends on how heavy they are. Our honey flow has been pretty good. It hasn't been terrible. We need to pull a few more supers for us to get to the amount that we had last year. And so we'll see. We'll see what happens. I have a feeling it's not going to be the best year, but I think it'll be okay. So anyway, we did focus a little bit more on the bees this year than the honey which is always important, but we want to grow our colonies and um, the number that we have of them before we start doing honey. But anyways, honey is always super exciting and we have been extracting a little bit. We haven't done like a huge pole yet to where we've done um, a bunch of supers that need to be extracted. We've just been doing a little bit by little. And so we'll just kind of open them up. We have already pulled from this hive and I was just kind of wondering what they look like. And we pulled the supers, extracted them, and then we put them back on. <clears throat> so they're drawn and everything, and I think that they had started filling them around the next day or so. It's pretty tall. Um, there's a couple of them that I'll have to stand on the stand here to be able to reach, but whatever, we're not gonna talk about that. So, looks like they are just kind of up top here. There is three mediums and then a shallow one, which is kind of a lot. Um, especially because we don't really have a huge flow on right now. I think we're in a little bit of a dearth. Uh, we just got some rain, which I figured the the Dutch, uh, the yellow and the white Dutch clover would maybe come back a little bit from that. And I think it did a little bit, but really not for long. Maybe like a day or so. But anyway, so I think we, our milkweed is basically over. We don't really have a flow from that. And then I think it's goldenrod that's next, but that's not till fall. So. <clears throat> yeah, we're kind of in a little bit of a dearth right now, not much for them to get to, but they have a bunch of supers on, so looks like they're in here though, so we can pull this off too. We haven't pulled any comb supers yet because they have to draw that out and then they have to fill it, but like I said, we already pulled some supers from them, and we got the nice early black locust honey. And so it's very clear and it looks really nice. So I'm excited about that. We, we might try some 
fall honey. The last few years that we've done it, we've ended up just giving it back to the bees because they need it more than we do. And I think that's an important thing to learn. And beekeeping is the balance, trying to figure out what to give the bees and what you can take. Because it's important to leave enough for them. And I'm just gonna go down to this comb because it doesn't look like they're really filling this as much. But the comb looks like they are, so I wanna look at that. Okay, this does have a little bit of weight towards the middle. So they might be feeling it a little bit. Looks like they might be capping this. I haven't checked this in a while, so. I have a video, like a whole video on this. If you want to check that out, I'll leave the link right here so you can check out the video. More information on the comb honey and where we got the idea from. <clears throat> so this is a middle frame. So it looks like they're definitely working it more than the outside frame. It got a little stuck there, but that looks really nice. I'm really glad to see that they capped it. And so there, it looks like they'll need to cap it a little bit more down here towards the bottom. But it looks great. And so we have some jars and everything that this will eventually go in. The sun is definitely starting to come out, which is good. We've had a good bit of rain and so it's nice to see the sun again it's not too hot it's been pretty hot the last couple days and so i'm glad to see that it's not super hot but anyway maybe we'll just pull one more out because this is exciting to see <laughs> yeah so they're definitely capping it so they just need to cap it a little bit more towards the bottom area and then we can test it and I mean, most of the time, once they cap it, they can't really, they won't change the moisture content. Um, and I think that they can. I don't know a whole lot on that, so I won't say too much, but we'll test it, see what it's at, and then we'll be able to harvest it and basically uh, put it into the little jars or containers that we have, which we do have a cool thing from Pierce Beekeeping Equipment that we will be testing out this year. And we'll definitely do some videos on that, but Basically, they're not really filling these ones, but they are filling this, which is good because all of these three supers are new and we just added them. And so I'm not surprised to see that they aren't really filling it because we're not in much of a honey flow. I think we might be a little bit, but there was some honey out yesterday and they went for it really quickly. And so that just tells that there's really nothing else that they're looking for or they're getting nectar from. All right, so I went ahead and put a super on, and then I'm just gonna put these girls back together, and then we'll get to talking about uh, my subscribers and what we're gonna do for 5,000. Okay, so we went ahead and closed up that hive because we're gonna talk a little bit about the giveaway that we're about to do for 5,000 subscribers. We haven't hit it yet, but we're really close to it. And I think it's crazy because I remember hitting 1,000 subscribers, and that was like a really big deal. And now we're about to hit 5,000, which is crazy. So thank you guys so much. There's not really any other way for me to thank you than doing a giveaway and just saying thank you. And so I truly, truly appreciate it. I think there's a lot that's going to happen in the future and it's really exciting. We have a lot of cool plans and ideas. And so I wish I could give something to everybody, but that's just kind of impossible right now. And so we're going to do a giveaway and basically I'll kind of talk about that now. So what we're giving away is a coupon for Hilco and John Hill is somebody that we've done a couple videos with the, in the past. We've interviewed him and we've also mentioned him in some of the videos, you know, using out some of his products and things like that. And so we do really like his company and we want to promote it more. And so we are going to give away a coupon code and there's going to be three different winners. So we'll have a hundred dollar, a 50 and a 25. And so I'll get to how you can enter that in a second here, but we want to say thank you for John to John Hill for helping us out with this giveaway. Truly appreciate it, and he's a really cool guy, and he's helped us out a lot. And he was at Hive Life last year, or I guess this year, and he'll be at Hive Life next year, I believe. He's he's always at a bunch of different conferences, so I'm sure you could probably find him somewhere. And so yeah, we'll leave the website for you to just check out um, here. I'll probably leave it in the comments and all that stuff so you can check out their website. And again, we're going to post the Corey Stevens video and then we'll post a giveaway winner and uh, lead you to where to go from there and how to do all that. And so 
how you need to enter is you gotta be subscribed to me and then you gotta comment on this video not any other video just this one and do hashtag Natalie and also you gotta spell my name right <laughs> I know a lot of people don't spell it right and that's totally okay I don't it really doesn't bother me but we're gonna change this one up to where you have to spell it right and so it is in my YouTube name it's N-A-T-A-L-E-E -E. and so it really doesn't bother me again but I thought we could just do it for fun and so you gotta spell it right in the comment section and so hashtag Natalie with two E's and then that's pretty much it just make sure to you know be subscribed to me and comment that and I think that's it for how to enter and so we'll we'll tell you how to where to go if you do win in the next few videos or in the next video after Corey's and so I think that's pretty much it okay so that's basically about the giveaway I'm really excited about this giveaway because I think that it's a really cool opportunity for everybody and I think it's cool because we're doing three different winners which is always exciting instead of just doing one winner and another thing that you might have noticed I do have a t-shirt on that says beekeeping with Natalie I sold these at Hive Life and a Nebraska conference Hives for Heroes conference but that's all I've ever sold them at and so that's only a few people that have really gotten them and so we are going to be setting up, we have a website that is really, really close to being done. So I wanted to mention that so you guys can be ready for that if you guys want to buy a t-shirt. We've got two different colors. We've got the gray and then we also have a purple. And I'm hoping we can definitely get some other t-shirts out, but right now this is all we have. And then we do have stickers. I think I have the sticker on my, this one is from my old YouTube name, but they look similar. Um, the like a girl is just with Natalie instead, it's just changed slightly. We also have those, and so I wanted to mention that because we're really close and we've been working on that for a while. So I'm excited about that, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So again, thank you to everybody who has supported me, and to everybody who has just now started supporting me. And so, I know you're probably tired of hearing all this, so anyways, I think that's pretty much it. We're excited about everything that's going on, the bees are doing great and we'll definitely have some more videos on like extracting because I know a lot of people want to see that how we extract this year so we'll do videos on that. I have a lot of fun stuff coming up and so stay tuned for the next few videos and thanks for watching. Follow along for more bee adventures and be here next time on Beekeeping with Natalie.